welcome to the interface tutorial for PDR Online. In this tutorial we will cover the use of each of the buttons, and run through the menu options. When you first open PDR Online Training, you will need to select a predefined template from the file menu. You will be given the option on which template you would like to fix. For this example let's choose the easy template. The template opens and presents you with a panel with a dent in it. You can pan around the screen at any time by holding down the right button on your mouse. Or zoom in by using your mouse scroll wheel. You may also manually pan around the screen, with the buttons W, A, S and D on your keyboard. W is forward, S is backward, A is left, and D to pan right. Holding the shift key will also increase the speed of the camera movement. The first view of the panel you will see it what we call the wireframe overlay. We find this view to be the easiest way to visually determine what is happening with the metal and surrounding areas. There are two other options available in the view menu. The first is wireframe, this takes out the panel, and leaves you with a grid pattern to detect highs and lows inside the damaged area. The other viewing option is the texture mode, this is a more advanced view, as the grid help option is turned off, giving a more realistic feel of real life PDR. Use whichever view you feel comfortable with. Just remember you can change between them at any time, so don't be afraid to switch back and forth. Now let's take a look at the toolbar. The toolbar consists of five different tools. The sharp tip tool is a tip often called the bullet head. This tool is designed to lift small areas of the dent and pick out small low spots. The next in line is the round tip tool. This tool head is for pushing up a broader area of the metal than the sharp tip tool. You may find that this is the main tool you use to remove dents by PDR. The other tip tool is the broad tip, this is also called a mushroom head. This tool is perfect for lifting up large areas slowly and removing the volume of the damaged surface. The next button contains the knockdown, this is your means for correcting your mistakes and to tap down gently any high areas like eyebrows. This function can be used repeatedly. Do not be afraid to tap an area flat and start to lift it again. The last button on this toolbar is the sanding block, only use this function when you have almost taken the dent out completely. In real life situations you are dealing with a thin layer of paint, so we have limited the amount of sands you can perform on a template. Think of the sanding tool as two quick rubs with a wet piece of 2000 grit sandpaper. Moving down we see the power bar. This function has three predefined levels of power for the tip tools. Use these as you learn the PDR process, and as you gain confidence in your ability with the program, and want a little more challenge. Turn off the set power button, and use the left button of your mouse to simulate judging the force executed by each push. At the bottom of the left button menu, you will see the percentage complete meter. This handy guide will keep you informed with how much of the dent you have completed. If you are ever in trouble with a dent, and feel like it is out of control, simply hit the reset button in the bottom right hand corner. Or if the view is just wrong and you need to reset that, just reset the template from the file menu. Try and take your time, and work with each dent individually. And as you gain the skills needed for each template, Increase the realism by turning off the guides, and switching off the set power button. Also try and picture yourself working on a real car in a real situation with a customer over your shoulder. And don't be afraid to retry every template over and over, remember repetition is the mother of all skill, and practice those make perfect.